all you haters, if you don't know Prophet Joshua Holmes, you ain't got the Holy Spirit. That's all I gotta say. You don't know the Prophet, you don't know Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because he's changing lives every day. He is Jesus in the flesh. He is he is Jesus in the flesh. He is he is Jesus in the flesh. He is very tangible. Hit the power of God on him. Just cause he throws his jacket. If you, because you can't throw your jacket. Exactly. It, you know, I mean, if you can't throw your jacket, I can understand why you could say, oh well, you know. Hi everyone, my name is Mylesha. I'm with JHM. My prophet is Prophet Joshua Holmes, Apostle. He is my father. Also, you will see me call him my Lord, my divine King Jesus, because he is just that. He is my Lord, just as Sarah's Lord was Abraham. She knew who her Lord was. <laughs> This page is dedicated to honor and only honor Prophet Joshua Holmes and I just want to say that um, I have received so many miracles and testimonies by being connected to him and there's so many negative reviews about him and I just wanted to clear things up because Prophet Joshua Holmes is not a fake. He is a true man of God. He is a true king that Jesus has set on this earth. And for all the haters out there, y'all know it's true. You just don't want to admit it. But I'm here today to share some of my testimonies. Some of the testimonies I received was healing, miracles. Um, there was a time when I couldn't even pay my student tuition bill. I'm a college student and um, Prophet Joshua had released a seed. It was $100 and he told us to name three things we wanted God, for, God to do for us. So I obeyed the instructions of the king and within two days the school emailed me and my bill was close to $8,000 and it went all the way down close to $800 supernaturally. I still to this day do not know how that money was um, released into my account. Um, another testimony, um, I was really sick one day and I didn't know what to do so I decided to sow my best seed and within a few days I received complete healing. I didn't even know where the sickness came from and I believed in my heart that it was it had to do with witchcraft. Prophet Joshua Holmes is truly a man after God's own heart. He has done so much for his flock that you won't even know. He's helped people in secret. He's done things for other people that you will never even know and I myself will never even know. He really truly lives a pure and humble lifestyle before God and he is truly anointed. He's truly in the glory. I've seen the glory clouds follow his periscopes. I felt the power of God through him, through periscopes, through going to his conferences. Even my dog, it was one night I was watching a broadcast with my dog and she even felt the power of God and she was trembling in front of me. She, she couldn't even stop for like the next 10 to 15 minutes and it was just so supernatural because I've never seen my dog experience that before. I've been connected with Prophet Joshua for two years and I never once regret some of you people, you see that people on YouTube and other social media accounts, they slander other men and women of God. Those people are going to get judged. Don't find yourself in the crossfire by supporting those people. Disconnect yourselves. Don't even listen to what they have to say. All they want is just viewers. All they want is people to just believe a lie. And in these last days, that is what Satan is trying to do. He's trying to lie to us and get us disconnected from those that God truly sent on this earth. If you are connected to Prophet Joshua or if you've seen, look look at your life, how it's changed from the time you met him and from the time now. Look at how the science has changed, your minds has changed, your living your has changed. Look at those details. Don't let the enemy snatch that from your heart. Don't let people on social media snatch that from your heart. Stay with the truth. How do you want to find yourself? when the Lord comes back and he comes back for his bride. Do you want to find yourself with those people that were slandering men and women of God? They even did it to Jesus. And even after Jesus died, they found out that Jesus was truly the Son of God. You don't want to find yourself in that crossfire. 
You don't want to be the one that has to go to hell because you listen to somebody else. You have time to change. You have time to change your ways. You have time to stay connected to the truth. And if you're already connected with the truth, stand up for the truth. Stick with the truth. Don't don't waver. Don't be double-minded. Know that God sent you a man of God. God sent me a man of God. His name is Prophet Joshua Holmes. And I completely stand by. I support and I trust. Even Prophet Joshua Holmes' conferences are so powerful. I've seen a lady get healed. She was sitting in the pew and she got up and the cane was taken away from her and Prophet Joshua told her to follow him and look at him in the eye as she was walking and she started walking and when I saw that I started crying I've never seen anyone get healed before in real life and just to see that people in this world hate him and people in this world slander him you guys are wrong for that and you know you're wrong just admit it just admit it and just be free be free you have time to change like I, I don't understand why people want to be so harsh she's someone that is so sweet someone that is so kind someone that is so genuine like he does so much for people and y'all don't even understand and y'all just want to put y'all mouse on him because y'all got nothing better to do come on let's let's be adults here let's be grown up and if you actually stop criticizing you'll see the miracle prophet joshua holmes he stays up late ministering to the states still up in the morning tweeting posting stuff on social media making sure that we have an in-season word each and every single day he preaches new material all the time there's never a dull moment with him he brings us joyful when my day is bad i know where to go i know that prophet joshua holmes was god sent to me because there's just this supernatural feeling that i feel towards him that i don't feel with anyone else and it's not a um spirit of love that's not none of that i don't look at him in that kind of way he is a handsome man of god but i look at him as my father i look at him as my leader i look at him as my protector my strength and i am young and i'm happy that i can uh, be saved and be connected to somebody so mighty at such a young age and i'm so grateful that i've gotten the opportunity to see him in I also want to say through Prophet Joshua, I've been delivered from many demon spirits. I've been delivered from marijuana. I've been delivered from fornication, masturbation, anger issues, um, jealousy. I've been delivered from many different demons. And I'm just grateful and thankful that it's, it's him. Like, when I look at him, like, I, I really want to be like him. And he's, he's just such a perfect example. And I thank you all so much for watching this video. If you'd like, share it with somebody. Get the truth out. Look at your own life. Look at your own experience. Give him a try. Critics, I challenge you. Give him a try. Watch his videos. It's actually so into him. Stay consistent with him for even a month or two months. Just look at your life and watch. You'll see a change. Jesus said, my, my plan is to do the will of the Father. That's my mother and my father. That, saints, do y'all hear that? Listen. Listen, saints. This is, this is my office. Listen. Do, do you hear? Do you hear? Listen. 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 He a lying ass motherfucker. Listen. He knows his ass lying. His ass is lying. Discipleship, you don't think that people are sexy by their looks. In discipleship, you think people are sexy when you see them worship. You think they're sexy when they surrender to God. In discipleship, your flesh dies. You're no longer looking from the eyes of flesh. You, you're not saying, oh, this woman look good. Oh, this man look good. You're saying, nah, nigga. If, if, if you don't serve God like me, listen, you ugly. You, uh, did, uh, did, uh, there's nothing that I want from you until you get this Holy Ghost inside of you. Until you love the Holy Spirit like me. Ah. See, when you get into discipleship, your focus changes. You're not looking at a man dick. You're not looking at no pussy for a woman. You're looking at what the hell spirit you got on the inside of you. If you got a demon on side of you, I don't want to be inside of you. If you got an evil spirit, I don't want no transference of demons inside of me. I don't want you sticking your dick in me inside of me. I don't want you sticking your dick in me inside of me. I don't want you sticking your dick in me. I don't want you give me no pussy because I don't want no transfer of what you carry. See, this is the discipleship of a prophet. If some of y'all ain't ready, if you, if you up there scringing me, I'm talking about pussy and dick, what's wrong with you? 
You got it? Oh, you? I hope you ain't got both of them. I hope you got one. Now what she said? God created that thing. What's the problem? Some people have sex before. Hi, my name is Joshua Kia Holmes, and I will make this testimony as brief and as quick as possible because it's a long one. It is long. But I'm the daughter of Prophet Joshua Holmes, the boss of Prophet Joshua Holmes Ministries. You know, of course, this is all about Jesus, but we gotta be honest. Who is he using? His precious, precious prophet. <laughs> I got connected to Prophet Joshua. I was on Periscope one day, I was searching. I don't know what I was doing. But I remember seeing Prophet Joshua. And he looked very beautiful. I'm gonna just say it like that. He looked very beautiful. He had, um, honey, who? Don't get me started, Prophet stay fresh. <laughs> Prophet had on his, his, his shirt, honey. He had on his title, Prophetic um, Secrets or something, honey. And he just looked so divine, so different. I remember looking like, what's this? What is this? Look at him, what is this? And he was just going in, honey. And Prophet, what got me sold, and I always say this, what got me sold to my man of God, I knew he was the father. He said, I forgot to say, he popped his collar, honey. He said, excuse me, gangster. I said, this the one. <laughs> I'm like, Jesus, this is, yeah, so I started following him. And, you know, Prophet always talks about how like, when you get connected to the Prophet, you gotta fight to stay connected. And I remember Prophet came on while I was with him. And I was looking at the broadcast and Prophet was talking. I don't remember, I don't remember what he was saying, but he was like, I was like, I gotta get up out of here, I got to go, I, I can't do this, I can't be here. Somehow, some way, and as Prophet was on, I, I remember he was trying to talk to me, it was like he was trying to get my eyes off my Prophet. It, it was really weird, like he just kept trying to get trying to get my attention, and he's driving. And, ah, oh, Lord, thank you, Jesus. I made it out, just know I made it. And it, was, it wasn't, so much had happened in my life, so much hit my life when I got connected to my Prophet. My Prophet never laid hands on me to deliver me. His word, his anointing set me free. His anointing set me free. His anointing set me free. He never put his hands on me. He never, he never said in the name of Jesus, none of that. Nothing. Listen to me. His anointing set me free. I sold ten dollars into his ministry. Ten, ten dollars into his ministry. Prophet Joshua Holmes has been victory for me. I can't speak for anybody else. I can't talk about. What everybody else got no i can talk about me i was broken i was broken i was black i was listen my soul was so messed up so corrupt i was and my man of god <sighs> i know where he delivered me from i know what he set me free from i used to be depressed for no, I, I used to feel, it would be days where I'm like, why do I feel the way I feel? My prophet is all I've come to know. He set me free. That's all I can say, he set me free. I'm a ride or die for my prophet and I mean that. I never posted a video because I didn't think it mattered. I didn't think that, you know, I, I always look. I always look at my prophet like he's a face. You know what I'm saying? He can handle it. I just need to be supporting the back. But to be real with you, you can say what you want to say about Prophet Joshua Holmes. You can say what you want to say. What you can't say is that he he's evil. You can't say that he. My prophet come on morning, noon, and night. He's always there. There are times where my soul be trying to play tricks on me. And listen, I don't read no Bible. I don't pray in those times. I stop everything I'm doing just to see his face. I grab his picture and I just look at it. And immediate peace comes to me. Don't nobody do that for me but my man of God. I'm not ashamed to say that. Only my man of God. Only. I know where Jesus is at. And he's in my prophet. I know what the Lord tells me about his prophet in secret. This is my beloved son in whom he's well pleased. That's what he told me. That's what the Lord told me. When I first got connected to Prophet, I heard him say, this is my beloved son of whom I'm well pleased, hear him. And to this day, I'm still hearing him. I ain't going nowhere. My man of God is my baby. Yeah, I said it. My man of God is my baby. Honey, that is my everything. He's my strength. He's my joy. He's my inspiration. He's the reason that I live. He's the reason that I wake up every morning and go to work because I want to give him all. He can have everything down to my last drop. If he wanted the shirt on my back, he could have it. This is Jesus Christ who rescued me. 
I don't just see a man. I see the Lord Jesus Christ that I cried out to. That said, daughter, here I am. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let Jesus Christ pass me by. I'm not gonna miss Jesus. I'm not gonna miss my Jesus for the world. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna pray that um whoever's viewing this will have a discerning heart. Don't let nobody be nobody be with you. Don't let nobody deceive you. You know when you cried out to Jesus what you asked for, what you were feeling, the pain that you were in. For me, the reason why nobody can steal my revelation of man of God is because I know I don't have nobody but him. Don't let nobody steal that golden opportunity from you to know Jesus, to love him, to experience him like never before. Don't let nobody, don't let Satan steal that from you. You know what it was like post-Prophet Joshua. I'm speaking for those that know Prophet. As far as those who don't know him and y'all come on here and y'all go talk about him, shame on you. You was a dummy, a real dummy. Like my Prophet would say, with your dumb ass. How could you come on the line and ridicule a man of God that has done you no wrong? This man of God is so loving. He feeds me, honey. Oh yes. I, if I if I take a if I take two dollars and sow it into Prophet Joshua Ministry, I see the head of the Lord. I get food and I don't pay for it. Clothes. People show me kindness, love. You can say what you want to say. My prophet is Jesus. You can say what you want to say, my prophet is Jesus. You can say what you want to say, my prophet is Jesus. He's perfect in all of his ways. He Don't miss Jesus. That's all I'm going to say. And I want to say this. Prophet, if you're watching this, I just want to say thank you for delivering my soul. Thank you for busting Satan dead in his throat about me 24-7. I appreciate you, my beautiful royal king. Kia loves you, honey. And like you always say, we're going to roll up these tinted windows. You feel me? And we're going to peel off because we ain't worried about it. Thank you so much, Jesus. Hi, everyone. My name is Mylesha. I'm with JHM. My prophet is Prophet Joshua Holmes, Apostle. He is my father. Also, you will see me call him my Lord, my divine King Jesus, because he is just that. He is my Lord, just as Sarah's Lord was Abraham. She knew who her Lord was. He is my divine King because God has made him a king in this earth for this time such as this. Also, he is Jesus because Jesus is inside of him. Jesus resonates from him. Jesus is, has taken him over. So yes, he is my Lord, my divine King Jesus. And right now, I'm just here to just give a testimony. I've been following Prophet Joshua Holmes since 2016. And since 2016, my life has changed dramatically, tremendously. My life has catapulted to another level, to another, who to another realm, just realms and realms and realms of God, more and more realms my life has catapulted to since following Prophet Joshua Holmes. I've been healed, I've been set free, I've been delivered from all types of things, all type of ailments, all type of things in my mind that I didn't even know that I still had lingering around. I had unforgiveness, I had bitterness, I had 
always had contention and strife, always had a lot of anxiety. And since Prophet Joshua Holmes has come into my life, I've been set free and delivered from all of those things, from anger, from um, even competition, where there's no competition, there's no you, there's no need to compete when you are part of JHM because you're your own unique individual self. Also, the glory and the power and the tangible presence of God is tremendous in JHM. You can look at his scopes. The glory of God resonates on his scopes. The glory of God resonates through him. It's At first, it began where the glory of God would just pop up here and pop up there. But then, then the glory of God began to pop up inside of him. The glory of God began to shine forth through him. If you look closely at him, you can see the glory of God on him. I've had multiple miracles happened to me since I've been with JHM. I've had a debt-free home. I've had vehicles. My children was healed. Uh, I've been taken out of relationships and, and away from family members that, that meant me no good that I couldn't see with the naked eye but only Jesus knew. A lot of things have taken place. People have been set free and delivered from cancer, HIV and AIDS. Stroke victims get up at meetings and conferences and they start shouting right in the midst of them having a stroke where they couldn't move after he swung his jacket at them and the glory of God fell on them and it hit them and they got healed, set free and delivered and they started shouting in the middle of the aisle. People were taking their walk and just toss them to the side and they were walking they they didn't come in there walking but they left out walking there was this one lady she was at the conference the last conference we did she had just had surgery on her knees and she was using a walker and when she left out of there she was walking on her own she didn't even know how she got healed she even said how did he heal me how did that happen why because Jesus is in him oh hallelujah Jesus is the healer oh hallelujah and also, I've seen with my own eyes, people don't smoke marijuana no more. People don't smoke cigarettes no more. They don't drink no more. There's no more all this party life. The partying has stopped. The clubbing has stopped. They changed their life for the good for God. Even some people that was prostitutes, they're not even prostitutes no more. Why? Because they went and they sinned no more. They see the glory of God. God has taken over their lives. God has controlled their lives. And everybody wants to say bad things about Prophet Joshua Holmes and all of his daughters and all of his sons and that we're a cult and that we're fake and all these things. But if you look and see and taste that the Lord is good, that's why we're full of light. That's why we're full of life. That's why you guys want to fight us. But guess what? A house divided, they can't stand. So how can he preach the gospel but be Satan? But yet, Satan is the one that's fighting him. If you look at a lot of people that's fighting JHM, they're not of God. A house divided can't stand. And the Bible also says, what? Judge not lest you be judged. And for all of you that are supposed to be Christians out there, how can you judge another man? Because the Bible says, judge not lest you be judged. Maybe you should stop. You should take a look and see what JHM is truly about. Yes. We, we have prosperity because we have seeds. We sow our seeds and guess what? God gives us harvests. God has given harvest from the north, east, west, and south. From the, Oh my God, people's gotten houses. People's gotten thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. From where? Supernatural money just showing up as checks. Supernatural money showing up in bank accounts. It's happened to me several times. I can look into my wallet, had no money, and then boom, there's money just there appear. Why? Because I'm a sower. I plant my seed in the ground. Yes, I give my tithes and my offering, and no, we're not made to do it. We do it because we want to do it. No one makes us do anything. Prophet Joshua Holmes doesn't say, oh, you got to do this and you got to do that. No. He tells us the seed amount, and he gives us a choice whether to do it or not to do it. And when we do it, oh, we glorify our Father which is in heaven, and he brings down the harvest to us. Oh, glory to God. I just wanted to tell you a little thing about my Lord, my divine King, Prophet Joshua Holmes, Apostle. You should listen to him. He's very wise. He's very wise. He has a lot of wisdom. And that's all I wanted to say. You have a blessed day. Bye-bye. I really just wanted to come out here to share um, just my personal testimony about Prophet and um, just how I got connected to him and what God was doing in my life at the time. Um, in November of, well no, I wanna say um, April of 2017, prior to that, God was really moving in my life in a fresh way. Um, I didn't connect to Prophet as a baby believer. I connected to him as someone who the Lord had already um, birthed into the prophetic office. 
So I was moving in the prophetic um, realm already as a prophet. And um, God was speaking the word of the Lord to me um, just concerning people that I was connected to. And he would have me release the word to them. Um, and so the prophetic functions, the seer realm, um, I had already been moving in that like pretty strong prior to meeting prophet. So um, when I came on to the scene in JHM, when prophet and I connected, what was going on with me was God was birthing me or wanting to put me in a deeper realm in him. And um, that's what I was seeking. So around March of 2017, I had just finished up a 30-day prayer and consecration, fasting and everything. And um, I was really, really deep in God, like just really deep in the Lord. Um, and the Lord, would, he was constantly speaking to me about just many different things, mostly um, my functionality in the prophetic office, in the, uh, in the office that I particularly function in. He was speaking to me about the specifics about that. So when I had encountered Prophet, I was just like, wow. I, I had never seen anyone like him. Um, I had been raised in prophetic houses. Um, I have a mother in the Lord, who's a, she's a prophet. She raised me for many years, prophesied over my life back in 2007, 2006, something like that. So I've been very, very um, familiar with the prophetic walk, um, very familiar with the pattern of a prophet. Um, and un I had a, a deeper level of understanding. And so at this point, my seeking was for the Lord to do what he's called me to do in ministry, which is preach, prophesy, you know, move apostolically as Apostle Holmes does. And so um, that's how I got connected to um, Apostle Holmes. And he changed my whole just realms, dimensions. Um, my first encounter was, was New York, May of 2017, Mother's Day weekend. And um, immediately after that meeting, I started feeling the tangible fire of God just all over my body. And God just started using that in different ways to communicate with me, um, different ways to communicate. Just, you know, I, I literally can just feel fire in my ears, my eyes, my legs, just everywhere. Um, and at certain times when it's, it's stronger, because um, God is doing certain things. So he has really changed um, my life changed how I even understand the prophetic, understand the prophet, the role of the prophet, the realm of the prophet, just the glory that this amazing, tremendous, I mean, he's a heavyweight in the spirit, hands down, heavyweight in the spirit. Um, I've never seen anyone like him. Just, you know, if, if you are someone who's closed minded and, you know, you, you kind of have that, I know everything, you won't be able to receive someone like this. You have to be completely open. You have to be open to knowing God in a way where you've never known God. You have to be open to seeing God in a way where God himself has never revealed himself to you. And so I was just looking for something deeper, something more, something miraculous, something that I've never seen before. I was hungry, I was thirsty, and I'm, I'm always hungry and thirsty. I always want more of the Lord. And so that's how I got connected to Prophet. Um, it was just something that God miraculously, miraculously did um, in April of 2017. And I thank the Lord Jesus Christ um, for connecting me to someone who walks in just realms of glory, dimensions of glory, just realms of wisdom, understanding, knowledge, the whole package. I mean, Apostle Joshua Holmes is it. And so I thank God for the ministry on his life. I thank God for JHM. Um, and just, I thank God for where he's taken him. I'm excited. So I just wanted to come on here really quick. I don't really do the whole, um, you know, YouTube thing. Okay, of course, I'm going to get a text message in the middle of me filming this, right? Anyway, <laughs> I don't really do the whole YouTube thing. I'm very low key, but I love my apostle. And so I had to just come out and just share with you all my experiences. Um, he's changed my whole life spiritually. And I'm even, I'm seeing a lot, I'm seeing God move now in my finances. Um, just I have an amazing testimony of how I lost one job and literally walked right into the next job within like a week. So, yeah, JHM is the mantle on Apostle Holmes, Prophet Holmes is just, there's really no words to describe it. it it's, it's just awesome. And so I just wanted to come on here really quickly and give you guys just a little bit of um, my experience and my testimony. Bless you all. Love y'all. And, um, yeah, be blessed. These next couple of days of your life are very life changing. Jesus is going to change you. I'm going to impart to some of you out here to give you a fresh anointing. This is a night of the
deliverance tonight. After tonight, you're going to carry an anointing that you never walked in before. Yeah.